while I was in China, I worked at a training center. So it was an after school program, <clears throat> um, really geared towards uh, children, but we taught all ages. When I first got there, you know, I didn't have many, I, I didn't know much um, Chinese. They hadn't really spoken with a foreigner one on one. So um, one thing that we were able to do is, is come up with um, games and it, it and involves the, um, the target language. Um, one, one example is uh, uh, Scrabble. I, you know, I took the initiative to just develop the game on my own and just, it was very simple, you just cut out the pieces of paper and write letters on them and come up with a scoring system. And Another classroom favorite over there is a Hangman. And somehow every, every, every student, every child in China knows how to play Hangman. <laughs> so um, that was also one of their favorites. So now there's a lot of freedom when you're teaching there in China. So if you have a great idea, you can you know you can just implement it. And the main thing really that you learn is, um, is you just want to connect with the kids. You just want to um, um, practice connecting in the target language. So once you realize that really it's all just about you know um, hanging out and and and, um, and just talking um, and just trying to get to know each other, it uh, really takes the pressure off. Thanks for joining us today, Dylan. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's been uh, it's been lovely. Thanks. And don't forget to register at www.teachfuture.com. <laughs>